Oh, you need more charge? Yeah, my dad says you know what to do. <laughs> I have just the thing. Dad, this guy seems sketchy. Put this to your charging port, and whatever you do, don't move. Wait, why can't I move? No question, just do it. I am tired of getting electrocuted. Look at your energy. 200%? But that's not even possible. I have so much energy. I feel so great. My energy hasn't went down all day. Not even 1%. That's great, but maybe you should take a break, Brianna. Not a chance. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I feel great. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I really do. My energy is at its max, and I am loving it. Woo! Why you lie about the guy? Is it true you lied? She should have died? I didn't lie about the guy. She's not thinking clearly. Dissy, rhyme it. They time it. She's out of her mind. Seriously. Okay, I'll believe you. But I got my eye on you like glue. I can't believe my best friend's gone. Bring him back. Come on. They timed it and he couldn't rhyme it. It's the world we live in. We can never win. I don't want to be here anymore. Please. Rhyme it. They time it. You have so much to live for. I don't want to see you on the floor. Anymore. Anymore. I don't know. You look down. What's with the frown? I just saw someone get killed. Your head is a mess, but you can't stress. They time it. You need to rhyme it. <laughs> we saw your TikTok video. You thought you looked so hot. <laughs> Whatever. At least I'm famous. Oh, yeah. You're famous, all right. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm famous. Not the way I want it to be, but hey, at least my promises are fulfilled. Um, Brianna, you still have one mark left. What? Look. No. No, no, no. My last promise was to fulfill all of my promises, and I did! I think that's sort of like a lifelong promise. So I can't get into my dream school? You could always try Yale. Brianna, you can't cover up your mark. They'll find out. How would they find out? I have to get into Harvard. It's my dream. Hi, I'm here to interview for Harvard. We've been expecting you. Come this way. Put on red, they're gonna send you to jail. Or worse, execute you. No, I don't fit in with any of these assigned colors. Therefore, I have no color. Hello, Brianna. I'm gonna need you to come with me. It's the president. Hey, leave her alone. Calm down there, fella. I would just like to speak with her. Jake, it's fine. I'll go with her. Have some tea. Thank you. I thought that we may have an issue with you. You see, you're the only person to show strong attributes of all three colors. We chose red because we thought it would best suit you, since you are going to be quite the danger to us. How are you enjoying your tea so far? Why do I feel so dizzy? Yeah, we're going to need you to sleep for a little while. What? Where am I? Good morning, Brianna. I'd like to make a deal with you. Help me. Help me. Um... I have to go. I'm late for school. Hey, Bree. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It's just, there was a lady when I was walking to school. She was dressed all in white. She was asking for help. She seemed really distressed. Did you help her? No, I panicked. Help me. Help me. Help. Ma'am, you're covered in blood. I need to go get cleaned up. Can you hold my baby? Uh, okay. It's been hours. She hasn't come back. Brianna, why do you have a baby? It's the lady in white. She asked me to hold her baby and then she disappeared. Uh-oh. You haven't heard of the tale of the lady in white? The tale of the lady in white? Yeah. That's not a baby. How many words did you get this year? Zero? That's even less than last year. It's okay, baby. Don't be upset. How about I take you shopping? It will cheer you up. You like that dress? All right, let's go buy it then. Oh, you want to try it on first? All right, let's go. I'm very sorry, sir, but it's only one person per change room. No, I have to come with her. She's going to need help with the zipper. Don't worry, sir. I'll be there to help her with that. Please wait here. Oh, it looks like you got the zipper just fine on your own. Help me. Help you? I... Do you know that man? Mom, I'm going to Cynthia's house to study. No way, you're going to that party I told you not to go to. Show me your arm. Seriously, Mom? I've never lied. 
I'm sorry, honey. Can I have your number? Sorry, I have a boyfriend. No way, you're lying. Am I? Since when do you have a boyfriend? I don't. What? Nothing. It's amazing that you've never lied. You'll be able to get any job you want. How are you so honest? I just believe that honesty is the best policy. Wow. Welcome everyone to the 2022 graduation ceremony. We will now be announcing the honor students with the least amount of lies who will get first pick at job interviews. And the person with the least amount of lies, Brianna. Thank you, thank you. How are you such an honest person? Well, the reason is I am just better than everyone. Ow! What was that? Look at her neck, there's a bunch of lines. How many lives did I get? You only got one. Just one? What am I supposed to do with only one life? Hey, I'm going skydiving later. Want to come? Sure. Hey, Brianna, are you coming? She can't. She only has one life. She can't take any risks. I used one of my lives yesterday. It was so crazy. I jumped from a 10-story building. Wow. Hey, Brianna, how did you use your lives? I haven't. I've only ever had one life. So, I was thinking of going bungee jumping later. Who's coming? I am. But, Brianna, you only have one life. I know, but I'm tired of not taking risks because I only have one life. We'll be attached to a rope. It's safe, right? It's pretty high. Hey, guys, I was thinking maybe we jump without the rope. No, no, I can't. I... You first! Ah! Dude, you killed her. She only had one life. How am I still alive? I got you the new dolly you wanted. Thank you. I love... Stop. You can't ever say I love Y-O-U. If you say it to someone who's not your soulmate, you'll lose all memory of the person you said it to. Hey, baby, I got you lunch. Aw, oh, thank you, babe. You're amazing. I think it's time for us to say the L word. But Evan, what if you're not my soulmate? I don't want to forget you. It's okay. You don't need to forget me. I'll just say it then. I love you. Evan? Um, who are you? How do you know my name? I'm your girlfriend. I don't even know you. You're not my girlfriend, you bitch. Hey, Emily. Evan told me he loved me today. Brianna, that's great. He forgot me. Oh, no. I need to make him fall for me again. Even if we're not soulmates, I don't want to lose him. <laughs> Emily? Evan? Emily, how could you kiss Evan? I love him. And I? Brianna, don't say it. Love you. Whew. Well, I guess that makes sense. My soulmate wouldn't be hiding in my bedroom. It still hasn't gone up yet. Hi, Brianna. Derek, hi! Guess you're not my soulmate. What? Mom, I'm home from school. No way. My soulmate's near my house? Honey, your sister will be coming over with her new fiancé. You can finally meet him. That's great! It's so loud. It's too loud in here. Hi, I'm Chad. It's great to finally meet you. Things not to say to people who have an eating disorder. Or anyone for that matter, because they're not that nice. Are you really going to eat all that food? Wow, that's a big plate. I could never eat that much. Your plate's already gone? You ate that really fast. You're getting another plate? You must be really hungry. Hi, so recently I've been really into online shopping and I got some really cute clothes from Now Rain, so I'm gonna show you what I got. First things first, I got this black blouse. It's super cute. And then I also got these black pleather pants. They're super cozy. I'll show you a close up on the pants as well. The pants, they're high waisted and they're super comfy. All right, and then I got this plaid flannel. It's super cozy and it totally matches with this outfit. And lastly, because everyone knows what time of the year it is, I got this Rudolph sweater. It's super cute. And check out the ears. Boom. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching my haul. Do you hear them, the little girls? You need to find them and break through or they'll take you. I don't believe you. Hurry up. You only have 20 seconds. No, no, it's not real. Ellie, hurry up! Come join us, Ellie. Ah! <laughs> Ellie, you survived. I know, I'm so lucky. So it is real, the game of Red Rover? Yes, it is. I saw them, the little girls. I told you guys it was real. You didn't believe me. Red Rover, Red Rover. We call Katie over. Don't play Red Rover. The little girls might hear you and call you over. We are the little girls. So that means they... 
they they took us and you're going to be next no no please tell me you're joking <laughs> hi so recently i've been really into online shopping and i got some really cute clothes from now rain so i'm gonna show you what i got first things first i got this black blouse it's super cute and then i also got these black pleather pants are super cozy i'll show you a close-up on the pants as well the pants they're high-waisted and they're super comfy all right, and then I got this plaid flannel. It's super cozy and it totally matches with this outfit. And lastly, because everyone knows what time of the year it is, I got this Rudolph sweater. It's super cute. And check out the ears. Boom. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching my haul. Hey, girly. Why are you so happy today? You wouldn't believe it. I met the sweetest guy and he's rich. Are you sure he is who he says he is? What do you mean? Have you heard of public data check? No. What is this? You search the person by name or phone number and it will show you a background report. It will show things like past addresses, social media, financial disputes, and if they have a criminal record. You would not believe what I just found out. What did you find out? He told me he lives in a mansion. He lives in an apartment. Guess he's not rich then. And, uh-oh. What? Oh, mama, I'm in love with a criminal. What do you do? You wouldn't believe it. I do think of myself as better than, or okay. not better, but like bigger. Uh, this is going sideways. There's no, there's no good way to say this. I think of myself as like above the average person, so I don't feel like many people could relate to me. I wonder what superpower Red will give me. Oh, oh, I forgot. Puts lines on my face. Hmm. I don't feel any different. Guess what? My crush asked me out, and we're going on a date tonight. Danger. I don't think that's a good idea. Why? You're never happy for me. No, you don't understand. It gave me a danger warning. A what? It looks safe to cross now. Let's go. Danger. <gasps> Wait! Whoa, that was close. Your power's actually, like, really useful. Hey, I invited Jim to come study with us. Jim? Okay, but you know he's, like, madly in love with me, right? Really? Since when? Danger. Danger. Oh, that must be Jim. I'll be back. I'll go Danger. let him in. Wait, no. Princess, are you okay? Who are you? After all this time, you still don't know me? No. Wait. Everyone, reveal your years. We must find the princess. The princess's soulmate should also have infinite years after meeting. It's somebody else. I do remember you. I have to show you something. Infinite years. So you're my soulmate, and not a prince? A servant boy? I'm sorry to disappoint you. I can't marry you. I must marry a prince and become queen. Are you ready to be married, princess? Don't speak to me. This is a transaction, not love. You will now be pronounced king and queen once your new crowns are worn. Wait, I object. Why are you doing this to me? You rhyme it, I'll time it. Tick tock, the time is on the clock. Why are you doing this to me? Just let me be! You're safe. You're lucky. Lucky. It's your time to rhyme. You're safe. You're lucky. Come on, Brad, you wouldn't shoot me. We're partners. I'm sorry, Bob. I'm just doing my job. How are you feeling? Um... Rhyme it, they time it. Feeling... You rhyme better than anyone I know. Just go with the flow. I'm scared. You're out of time. You couldn't rhyme. What's going on? My partner's gone. Please, let me go. For the love of God. I've met God. He had nothing nice to say about you. It's time for your fifth mark. Yay, I'm so excited. I'm finally gonna be five. Congratulations. Yay, me. Time for your tenth mark. Finally. I'm so excited to grow up. And you're all done. It's time for your seventeenth mark. You're going to be an adult next year. There, you're officially seventeen. Now you only have one year to figure out what you're gonna do for the rest of your life. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. It's almost time for our yearly mark. Have you applied to any schools yet? No, I haven't decided yet. Well, now's the time to figure it out. We're getting our marks tomorrow. We're going to be adults. 
All right, it's time for your 18th mark. I hope you're ready for adulthood. Actually, I have to use the washroom. I'll be right back. What would happen if I don't get my 18th mark? Would they even notice I'm gone? I'm not going back there.